Tropical Cyclone Judy 2023 Last Modified, 2100 hours March 1, 2023 UTC Judy is located 81 kilometers north-northwest of Port Vila, Vanuatu, and has moved southward at 24 kilometers per hour, 13 knots, over the past six hours. Judy continues to track southward, though as mentioned, recent satellite imagery suggests it may be slowing down a bit as it approaches Port Vila. The system is expected to continue southward as it rounds the axis of the steering ridge, and either pass just a hair west of Ifate Island, or make landfall directly on the island, within the next 6 to 12 hours. Once past Ifate, the system is expected to pass south of the ridge axis and turn onto southeastward trajectory through the remainder of the forecast period. In terms of intensity, Judy has at most another 18 to 24 hours of friendly conditions. Before things get nasty, while the mid-level shear continues to be an issue, high-resolution models suggest that the rapid development of inner core convection should help push back against this shear over the next 12 hours. The improvement in upper-level poleward outflow will enhance the reduced mesoscale shear, allowing the system to continue to rapidly intensify over the next 12 hours. The pace of intensification will slow after 12 hours as deep-layer westerly shear starts to increase, and sea surface temperatures start to cool. The peak of 205 km per hour, 110 knots, is still expected in around 18 hours, holding on over the next 24 hours. After this point however, things begin to drastically change. Shear doubles to 45 km per hour, 25 knots, in 36 hours, then doubles again to 95 km per hour, 50 knots, in 60 hours, as the system becomes embedded within the subtropical westerlies. In 36 hours, sea surface temperatures drop below 26 C, and the system begins to merge into phase with a sharp 500 HBA baroclinic trough, marking the start of subtropical transition, STT. The system should complete STT in three days, but in reality, is more likely to transition to a storm force subtropical low in 60 hours. Deterministic and ensemble track guidance remains in very good agreement through the forecast period with all consensus members confined to a gradually expanding envelope of just 204 km in three days. The JTWC forecast lies on the western side of the track envelope through the forecast, with high confidence. Intensity guidance is mixed, with the COAMPS DC, both GFS and NAVGEM, and the GFS guidance, suggesting the system has already peaked and will weaken steadily from here to the end of the forecast. The HWRF and decay ships, both GFS and NAVGEM, agree that the system will intensify some more, but only up to 175 to 185 km per hour, 95 to 100 knots. Meanwhile, the COAMPS DC ensemble shows a moderate, 40%, probability of rapid intensification in the next 6 to 12 hours and the RIPA and RI-25 RI-35 rapid intensification, RI, aids continue to fire. The JTWC forecast anticipates emergence of a warm eye feature, and thus bites on the RI guidance, taking the intensity up along the RIPA trend but peaking about 35 km per hour, 20 knots, lower than the RIPA peak intensity. Confidence is low due to uncertainties in the impact of the mid-level shear, and whether or not the eye can actual clear out quickly. Maximum significant wave height is 9.1 meters, 